Yeah. Positive you Amazing. Amazing. Good morning, my darlings. Happy Sunday morning, evening. Um, so we've got quite a cool a lot of things. Um, training wise in the UK, we've got a training day on the 20th of January in Cambridge. And then we've got the Ignite and Fry coming up on the 21st of April. Um, just go back and look in D and read Nation for the whole year's um training so that's in there we've then also got glasgow and birmingham welcome to wellness events coming up so glasgow is on the, the 4th of february and birmingham is the 25th of february there's also if everyone jumps on to the monday evening calls obviously for aussies and new zealand it's going to be in the morning for you guys um there is a change of schedule on that so instead of at eight o'clock it's now going to be an hour later at 9 p.m so that might work better for, for some of you guys over the seas as well and for everyone pushing forward for closing out qualification on am rvp and nvp the reduced qualifications are there until the first of february so get your little booties there in regards to what's new in the arbs world Fry program is still going absolutely smashing it. If you haven't had a look at that new app, um, have a look at it. It is incredible. We can always add it into the Teams chat. New Apple Pay madness that is going to make checking out for people so, so much easier. So really, really good there. We have um, one day uh, left to get the 30 days and two free gifts so that is there until the 15th of the first we've got the surprise and delight bags as well so 150 pounds worth for products for 35 quid which is incredible um all the discounts are on the festive range and then two new things within fizz obviously we've got the boys and berry lavender fizz which actually surprised me and is so tasty um i don't think i was gonna like that one but it's so good and then we've got brand new launching tomorrow the apricot basil fizz so from maui i'm intrigued to try that one and that is it yeah, that's so awesome. And I'm just going to touch base with the schedules for New Zealand that you, the ones that you haven't touched base that sorry that are relevant over here in Australia, and New Zealand. Thanks. Um, so we actually have a roadshow coming the end of March. Sammy hasn't confirmed dates, but if you remember back in New Zealand, there was um, they did like a roadshow through like Auckland, Tauranga, to I don't know, there was five or six different locations. They're going to do that again, and that is such a really good opportunity to bring your guests, to bring your team to like it's like a mini event. And honestly, every all the energy and every so much happens at events, it just sparks so much drive and, and belief in so many people. So that is coming up in New Zealand. Um, also, the New Zealand VPs have got together, and we've called it. Oh, I'm going to say Mastermind Mondays or Monday Masterminds, and they're eight o'clock every Monday night. And if you haven't got the poster for it. Um, get in touch with your VP, but this is going to absolutely help all of our teams like really collab and really get together, really skill based, and really just going to. It's open to the UK as well if you want to watch. Um, come on as well. Um, and tomorrow night we have Kelly all the way. Um, talking from her experiences in Maui, so I can't. I'm looking forward to that. Um, what else is there? Oh, there's a surprise delights bag still on. Um, when they spend over two fifty New Zealand or two fifty. Uh, 225 Australian so they are up for they are still on sale and then AIT of course is still running until the 31st of May so that is always going to be ongoing have that in the back of your mind or front of your mind you're going to come on there okay so I'm going to hand it over to Danica and she's going to be talking about um she's so good on social media so like closing on social media and just some tips that she has there so I'm going to unmute you now Hi everyone. Can you hear me? Can you just let me know if you can hear me? You can, yeah, okay, because the other night it wasn't that good for me. Um, yay, how exciting. We are into a new year and I'm feeling so pumped. Um, so I'm just gonna do a really brief chat, like five minutes, um, and I'm just gonna go through a few things that I feel are really important for socials and a few things that I think 
have probably really helped me and it's sometimes it's hard to think because it's things that you just kind of naturally do that you're not really realizing that you're doing but um as I was just kind of writing a few points down to now I was like no nah, actually these are pretty key and I think that um they are super helpful so um one thing um one main thing that I think is the most important thing is um, authenticity. So just being super authentic to you, um, who you are, and I guess how you're co coming across on your socials. Um, because I think being you is, as they say, like your biggest superpower. You are your biggest superpower. So um, I know that a lot of people get a little bit um sometimes down I guess when they start up on and they see kind of followers start to like drop off a little bit but just know that those are the ones that we that we don't need like that's fine not everyone's going to be interested in what we're doing but we're going to gain new followers that are actually attracted to what we're doing and interested and actually like us and want to follow us and those are the people that we want to have in our world so um sometimes it's not all about quantity with followers it's about quality um I really totally believe that so um yeah being totally 100% new and being authentic and then I think the third thing is um taking people on a journey everyone loves a journey so whether that's um taking people on the journey of your 30 days you know like your check-ins every week every day on day three, on day four, this is how I'm feeling, before and afters, whatever. Um, and then also taking people on a journey with goals. Like I definitely found that when whenever I've ran for a goal and I've kind of spoken it out and been excited about it, you would be really surprised about people who are actually wanting to support you and love like following your journey of self-growth and the levels and just, yeah, People, there's a lot of really beautiful, kind, supportive people out there and um, they do love supporting. So I, I think um, sharing your journey is really key for lots of different things. Um, I also think that another thing that's really important that's helped me is creating authentic connection and friendship relationships um, with people before we're reaching out to people about the business um, or even better hopefully letting them come to us like we want to attract people through our socials um, to us with how we come across with our energy with our excitement like Kelly always says to me QV is energy and over the months that I've been in Ar Arbonne totally true totally true so remember that QV is energy um when you're excited when you show up um you're authentic you're you know you know where you're going you know what you're doing you're encouraging you speak life people are attracted to that they want you know they want a, a piece of that they you know they want to feel good and they want to be around that positivity too so um yeah creating relationships with people where they feel like they kind of want to um be a part of your vibe and what you're up to especially before we're reaching out about the business because there's nothing worse than having a random person reach out to you that you haven't seen for 10 years or heard from for 10 years and it's like hey I've got this business opportunity for you I know for me personally before I started up on I had that quite a lot and it's like hang on a minute what I don't even know you or like you know it's just nice to have that person that's popping into your DMs asking you how you are liking your stuff whatever um and I know that we're all so good at that um and then two more things I don't want to babble too much um I always one thing that Kelly taught me is to always offer to do the first person's order for them because one, it's really good customer service, um, and two, it just takes that admin away from people. So, and also three, um, sometimes when we 
send a, a link or a cart, I know that we would have all experienced this. We'd be like, yeah, 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 I'm keen. Like, send me a link. I want to try the dry drink. Da, 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 and then crickets. And then we don't see the cue they got. And then we don't get the email about the new PC. And it's like, um, hello. And then, you know, we've got a message the next day and follow up and say, hey, like, how did you go? Like, do you need help? Oh, something came up and I can't afford it now. Or, I don't know, there's always something. I'll get around to it. Doing that first order for people gets them over the line. It's good customer service and you know that it's going through and then they've got their account set up. So that's a really good little tip as well, just to get people like, yeah, over the line. And then my last point, so I'm going fast, but I just just a couple of random. These are just like quick random points that I just um just thought of. So one of my girls messaged me yesterday and she's like, hey, how would I respond to someone that's really keen on the business but has kind of said just like, oh, I'll just think about it. Um, and I responded with, I said, well, this is just kind of like what I would say. I would say something like, sounds good, doors always open. I know that you'd love this business so much and I know that you'd be so great at it. All I know is that I wish I started sooner. We're in massive growth at the moment and there's never a perfect time, but it does also have to align with you. Um, the opportunity is always here and I would love to help you all the way I can't wait to hear from you soon when you're ready just something like that um, you know keep keep it keep it open sound excited not pushy opportunity is always there I know that you'll be amazing and the doors always open instead of just being like okay cool thanks you know um, so yeah those are my really quick few kind of top little tips that um kind of I try and do or be like um so hopefully they are helpful I know that all of us are so amazing at doing all of these things as well um but yeah sometimes it's just good to hear like also what other people are doing so hope that it's helpful um did you want me to introduce Ellie Emily is she up next yeah you can Okay, Ellie's going to speak um, on her journey to district manager. She's amazing. She's Kiwi, but she's now living in Aussie. She's got a baby and a toddler, and she's just absolute mum goals. And um, she's also amazing on social. So she will um, give you a little inspiration injection. So I'll hand you over to Ellie. I don't know about mum goals. <laughs> But bang, <laughs> I'll take it. Um, hi, I'm in Perth, so it's about 4.30, 4.45 here, and it's 35 degrees, and I am sweating buckets, so um, excuse the sweaty mess. Um, so, yeah, thanks for having me to share. I have shared, like, my journey with our immediate team, so I've changed up a few points so it doesn't get boring for people. But, um, yeah, so I have two children, and... Um, my journey with Arbonne started when I had just given birth to my second child, um, Bowie. He was a month old when I reached out to Janika and wanted the the glow drink. Um, I was kind of like needing some routine and some healthy habits and like some help with depletion. Um, so yeah, I tried that. But at the same time, because we don't do things by halves, I um, was moving to Australia so it was three months old when we moved. So we were also on like saving May tight. And so I was like, I'm not spending that much money on the glow drink. And it was also um, right when it was the half price consultant sign up. So I was like, perfect, aligned here. I'm just going to sign up for the for the um, the drink um, through consultant prices and I'll just keep taking it and that'll be sweet. I said to Danica, don't, I don't want anything to do with the business. Don't message me. Don't call me. I don't want to be part of the group chats. I'm not keen. I just want the glow drink at a discount. And she was just like, like what she said, it's okay. No worries. You know, um, whatever lines with you, whenever you're ready. <laughs> yes, she does. She's amazing. Um, so yeah, I moved to Perth. I kind of like felt a bit more settled in newborn life and I felt a bit more like I needed something, you know, something for me. My husband was away working. I was actually getting bored looking after two children. So I, um, not like I love them, but it's a lot, right? So I needed something for me. Um, so I just decided, you know what, I will give this a crack because I was sharing like the products with my friends and they were loving it. Um, and I just was like, yeah, I can do this. So I started in August actually trying in the business. 
Uh, that's when Danica was like, I'll add you to the group chats and stuff. And you know, like the energy in those group chats, you just like, you want to be part of it. So I was really getting into it. Um, so yeah, I started in August. Um, I quickly noticed that hitting QB targets is such, like, it's a bit of me. I was like, if this is cool, I've got targets to reach. I'd like to smash goals. Um, perfect way for me to get into it. I hit DM in November, um, thanks to all those amazing deals that we had. I smashed it in November, which was really cool. Um, but it's the good thing is, is like I've been maintaining that. So I've, I've got the DM bonuses, which is really cool. So it's actually amazing that it's maintainable, um, even if you do smash it because of a sale. You know, once you've built those clients, you can actually keep going back and they keep coming back, which is cool. Um so yeah, I've been asked to share like a few things that I've personally struggled with um, and what I'm kind of doing to overcome them. So the top kind of three things um, that I've struggled with would be like uh, fear of judgment or unworthiness, maybe like a bit of self-doubt in there, actually a lot of self-doubt in there, um, changing from like a selling mindset to a recommending mindset was a big one. Um, being a hairdresser, we, I'm a hairdresser, so used to like selling, selling, selling. My child's going to walk in the room. Um, not now, but hold on, five minutes, okay? Five minutes. Sorry. <laughs> Mama, Hi, can you go and ask daddy? Go and ask daddy. Hi. I'm talking, okay? Hi. Does this hear me? Um, so changing from the selling mindset to a recommending mindset and also the social media presence, like Danita said, like knowing kind of what I am like mm -hmm. aiming to be on social media because I wasn't, I didn't have a big social media presence before. I was like, um, who am I? Like, who do I want to show up, up as? And do I want my page to be just like full on Arbonne or do I want it to be like half me and half Arbonne? So like that was a big struggle in my mind of like overthinking it too, you know? Um, you're joining in now, are we? Okay. And um, so like, but the thing I have realized now is going through these, struggles is that it is so normal like now that I'm growing my team I've noticed as well that um all my my girls are saying the same things asking the same questions as what I'd be asking Danica and it's just like it's really cool like to feel like I've been through that hurdle and then I can help someone else with it so if you're feeling these things it's very normal um I feel like I feel like something that's really resonated with me lately from Danica actually um she said something like when you're growing and evolving people don't like it people will kind of you know they if they're feeling insecure they kind of lash out and can say not nice things or not be kind I haven't had too much of that but I had an instance where I had met some new friends here and we had a barbecue and the lady brought her husband over and he has been following us on social media me and my husband um just to chat okay and um, he said to me, oh, I crack up laughing when you talk on your socials. I find it so funny. Um, and he was a bit drunk and I was like, excuse me, you know. But basically I was like, I was really offended and I was real upset about it, but I didn't say anything because I'm not going to let him get the better of me. I basically went into the kitchen and got a few fizz sticks and I said, here, try these and um, let me know when you want some more. Uh, and then I spoke to my husband about it afterwards and he was like, oh, don't let him get to you. I yeah, he's just jealous. You're doing, you've got more confidence and you're doing better than what he's doing. And actually his wife has bought products off me now. So, huh. um, yeah, so like there's going to be so many instances like that, but just trying to like rise above that and not let it get to you is definitely a big thing. Um, people don't really care as much as what you think they do about what you're doing, like judgment and stuff. If you're going to touch, you need to leave. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, and one thing, like, also is thinking that your family is going to be the ones that buy all the products off you. They aren't. My family weren't supportive at the start. They're, they're kind of just like, oh, yeah, what is she doing? Um, but they are now. I think seeing that, like, someone just said my skin looks really good. So um, sort of, like, seeing how good you look really makes people want more. So, like, I've been navigating all my struggles. I've got a few things, like, one was this community. Um, my best friend, Kristen, I don't know if she's on this call or not, but she has joined the team and I just find it amazing having someone to do the business with that really like gets me. We chat out things that, are pro that have problems. We chat out all the time. I'm sure it's probably like Danica and Kelly are like that, I'm sure. 
Um, and also leaning on like the girls in the community. Like if anyone needs to lean on me, I'm here. I'm always here to chat. We just have such a good community. My um, husband's an amazing listener, so I always feel like I have to like talk out my problems to him. Um, and I'm sure um, coordinators probably have a bit sick of pep talking me too, but we need it, you know. You need that like rise to feel better. Um, and then also I found one of the biggest things to help me was speaking out my vulnerabilities on online. So when you share a lot with socials and all that, people want to be um, seeing someone authentic. And when you're sharing how you feel and, like, you know, authentically saying things like getting them off your chest, people love it, eh? Like, the people that reach out into my DMs to chat to me that I haven't even spoken to for years, it's just incredible. Um, and just building that relationship. So you can't, like, try not to compare to people what they're doing on their socials and what I'm doing has um, really helped me. Everyone's different. Just trying to find my... My niche under the table talking, sorry. Um yeah, so what else? I thought I find that speaking out things also releases negative like the negative emotions built up in you when you can like release it. See me, darling. You need to stop talking because I'm talking to people, okay? My husband's taking my other kid for a swim on the pool, so that's why he hasn't come in to rescue. Um Right, so another thing was personal growth and researching. I love, 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 like, learning new things, like, whether it be gut health or protein or, like, learning what's good for you or social media, like, you know, podcasts and things like that. It's so good. Um, Kind of keeping your mindset right. Um, I find that has helped me feeling, like, more confident in recommending instead of selling. So if I, like, know a lot about a product and I know something that's wrong with someone, I can then be like, oh, this would be so amazing for you because of this, blah, 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 blah. And that way you can recommend instead of be like, you should try this or, you know, like, selling because I hate that feeling of selling to someone. And I'm sure that people can relate. You don't want to be, like, that person, that album person. Um, I love to share. And, I, and like, I have now found that, you mean this is not okay um by on my social media like I find that just going through my day and using these products like I do is enough for me to be able to share with people because like people ask me all the time you know um oh what is that for what's that I went out to a birthday party yesterday and I was having a hydration stick and one of the ladies is like I'm so influenced by you what is this that you're drinking and I just all I had to share was that I was having electrolytes because I was feeling depleted you know and she was like okay can I want can I have some it's, it's all it is, it's just recommending and learning about all the products and stuff. And that kind of leads me to um, using the products. Like this is the third time I've done 30 days now. I love it. It's easy to maintain, but it's also just getting used to the products, knowing about it, knowing what they do to you um, makes it easier to share. It makes you feel like you know what you're talking about, you know, and it's just I'm, I am growing so much passion for these products and this business by just having fun utilizing it you know so yeah I think that's the key thing that Danica has been speaking to me lately is just have fun with it don't put too much effort in just have fun and I'm just loving that so yeah have fun everyone and um, that first sort of part getting to DM is definitely the hardest in my mind because you're not used to it all but now that I'm at DM I'm like this is fine I can totally do this let's go for AM soon you know like let's go higher and higher and I've really found that passion so yeah that's my story. <laughs> Sorry about Demi. <laughs> I love that. I yeah. don't know about you guys, but Ellie, you speak so naturally, eh? You just speak so well. So I just took on everything you're saying. Oh, thanks. Yeah, so so good. I can't wait to see your area very soon and beyond. So to finish off tonight, we have, I know we have Gaia on, and she's going to be speaking on um million in mindset chapter three for like a bit of skills training and possibly kelly but i don't know if i can see kelly on so i'm just going to pass over to you gaia you want to meet yourself hello can you hear me yeah amazing cool okay i'm so so excited to see you all a bit nervous i'm not gonna lie like i always get nervous on these things but then i'm like i'm just gonna do it get out of my comfort zone. So I'm gonna talk about uh, part three of the Secrets of the Millionaire Mind book by T. Harv Ecker. So um, uh, 
Ecker believes that you can consciously reprogram your money mindset to improve your your finances by replacing your your unproductive if, if thoughts and beliefs about money with productive if, if, if thoughts that rich people have. So according to Ecker, you only need to replace your unproductive uh, thoughts and beliefs about money with productive ones and beliefs to to increase your financial set point. Uh, similarly, lots of self-help books also uh, claim that you just need to improve your your if 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 thoughts to improve your life. So rich people have a positive attitude and effectively manage their money. So it's not enough to just make money, but you need to be able to manage it and, and change that mindset or else you will always find ways to self-sabotage. Um, he argues that rich people have a positive attitude towards their finances and they hold themselves accountable for the state of their finances and they take full responsibility for the impact on their on their thoughts and decisions they understand that their positive uh, thoughts lead them to take actions and produce successful results i was one like I also want to add this because as I'm speaking, I realize that not many people might know this, but I have a stutter. And so if there's a bit of a misconnection, it's not the internet, it's me. But I just want to say that because it just makes me more comfortable and everyone. So um, I'm going to outline now the, the specific if, 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 if thought patterns and habits that, that he claims that rich people practice. I'm just going to go th through them as quickly as possible. And I strongly, strongly advise you to either buy the, the, the book on Amazon or the Audible and dive deeper into these. So number one, develop discipline and take responsibility. So he claims that rich people know that positive thoughts lead to positive actions. Positive actions lead to success and wealth. Consequently, they always focus on, on finding and creating solutions so that they can meet their, their financial goals. And this FYI is also what Tony Robbins claims. I'm sorry about the bells, but I'm in, I'm in Venice and it's a big thing here. So number two, appreciate what you want and associate with with wealthy people. So he suggests that a practical way to approach this is to consider whether the activities you engage in or the people that you hang around with support or 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 hinder your financial goals. Next, he suggests to make a list of wealthy and successful people you already know and try to learn more about how they accomplish their their own goals. This is why I have found that these calls are so important. Events are so important with Arbon, and also events where you're able to network and connect with like-minded people. Number three, stop making excuses and confront your fears. Ecker argues that rich people have uh, take measurable steps towards what they want. They always if, if focus on the end result of what they want to achieve. So they just expect to succeed. There's no question in their mind, despite all their doubts and all their fears. So they plan ahead and create strategies to overcome the fears or potential uh, problems. Their confidence um, grows each step they take to move forward. And this has Arbon written all over it, like all these points do really. Number four, aim high. 
So according to Ecker, rich people set a clear intention to create massive wealth. They align their, their thoughts and behaviors with this intention and commitment leads them to take actions that are aligned with the intention. Um, number five, they promote value. So he claims that rich people understand that salaries and hourly wages limit their income. So basically where your income is tied to the number of hours you work. Therefore, they aim to get paid for the value they provide and results they produce. Um, they do this by opting for commission, ding, 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 uh, profit sharing and investing in their company stocks options. Number six, and this is the last one, which is brilliant. They they have a mindset where they where they think long term and they leverage their money and build network uh, net worth. Ecker argues that rich people plan for their long term wealth by growing financial assets. So what does this mean? They they uh, think of of money they earn as seeds. They can plant in order to grow more money for future wealth. The money they grow from the money they earn, the less they have to work to pay for their lifestyle. So rich people leverage their money. So what I have found is that the basis of it all is about being honest with oneself, replacing the negative thoughts with the positive and taking responsibility for one's action. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. That book is honestly one of the best books I've ever read and I've got it on audio. I'm like a very big audio person and I find audios are so good. That one's a really good, but like when you're doing the washing or when you're doing the kids breakfast in the morning or walking the pram, I've got two little kids. So like, it's all about Multi, like it's not multi-task but it's called like um habit stacking so that's where I love doing podcasts and I definitely change they, like this business is massive on um personal development as well so thank you so much for sharing that um that is all for tonight guys so I will get this recording to you and yeah have an amazing Sunday and let's all go try our apricot fizz tomorrow <laughs> see ya